welcome though everybody this is, I know this is not a spring tick okay so are you ready for this the president will veto anything that will put inferior policies back into place wait a minute you mean those inferior policies that were giving people cancer care uh, anyway meanwhile we're going to bring all came on with comments on the headlines of today it's all over for the republicans well yes because as bill o'reilly says in order for the Republicans to survive, they're going to have to become Democrats and support the views of the Democratic Party because if they don't, they're not going to get people to put them ever into the presidency again. Well, if they, the Democrats are not going to vote for Republicans, folks. The trick is with Chris Christie, Chris Christie, it, he wasn't dropping weight for Republicans. He's dropping weight because he knows that he's the only challenger that, that Hillary Clinton could have in the Democratic Party. And he's basically a, mm -hmm. a, he's a liberal Republican, which means he is a conservative Democrat. Mm -hmm. And O'Reilly admits finally that the president is what everyone else knew he was. Oh yeah, he's now admitting that he has socialistic, mm -hmm. that he has, he's an ideologue and believes in, so, in, in social justice and goes on and on. Well. Five years ago, everybody in the United States knew he was a socialist, but Bill O'Reilly Bill O'Reilly still says, well, I can't understand that, that he must understand that what he has done was a huge mistake, and yet he still continues to, to uh, deny it ever, he ever knew about it. And he said, he, he, he's, it's obvious he doesn't, he was never informed about all of these problems because he is too smart a man to have done, no, it's called, what does Herbie Daddy say Mark Twain said? He said, uh, just because a person uh, has a college degree doesn't mean that person is a smart person. It just means they had the money to go to college. And O'Reilly admits finally that the president is what everyone else knew he was. I know Herbie Daddy said he liked that when she did it twice. Of course. Well, yeah. that's right, because what happens with Obamacare? Yeah. Stays with the president. Norway rejects U.S. request to destroy Syria weapons. Because they got to go get shot at. No one, there's not going to be any weapons destroyed. What happened was it was a really brilliant thing. You know, Obama agreed to all of this. You know, they're going to give up their weapons. The only problem is all the weapons are in war zones. And therefore, there's not a single member of the United Nations guarding any of them, which means, and I mean, I, I, I heard from the people over at the Pentagon, they're walking in and out every day taking books taking the stuff out of storage oh, because the fact that there's no, you can't put, it's in a war zone. If you got one of the little blue helmets, they shoot at you. But if you got one, if you dress like a, a, a Muslim with a burqa, you walk in, take out a whole bunch of the chemicals you need, leave. You, really? That's all they're doing is just removing stuff on a daily basis. And no one has had their insurance canceled. They were transitioned into the better Obamacare. Well, that's what the man said. That's about as farce. I mean, I mean it's a farce because like this morning, he, the, his whole party is up in arms because what happens is they're uh, threatening to recall Harry Reid in, in Nevada because guess who, uh, hey, who have been hit the hardest? About, he said, you know who's been hit the hardest by the cancellations? Who? Blue states. Oh. Almost every blue state is having a massive amount of cancellations to their people. And the unions, the unions are coming up next because Obama he a so-called, he was going to break the rules once again and give unions the uh, subsidies, you know, almost a billion dollars in subsidies, which went over like a lead balloon with Democrats running for office. Well, we just had five million people canceled, and you're going to give your friends in the unions subsidies so that they can keep their Cadillac plans when you just dumped five million people that's moving up the food chain, folks. Mm -hmm. Californians protesting cuts to the food stamp program. Um, the problem is, is that they that it, you don't even have to. I mean, I mean, I remember a, a long time ago when food stamps got started. We would go to the post office and we'd see a, a, a congr congressman's, a, a senior congressman's wife from 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 Fresno. You know, his name might have had a V in it, and his wife was uh, getting her food stamps, what? driving his car. To the post office to pick up food stamps. So that's how they've been abusing this stuff for 50 years and they're going to continue to abuse it. And the Redkins are determined to keep their racist name after all. 
uh, it's only racist to a tribe of Indians that are in the area that are composed of about 20 or 30 people and the President of the United States. The problem is, is that you tell people, F you. I mean, it's been the Washington Redskins for how long? And Redskin is, uh, okay, Redskins was never, you know, only in bad western did you ever use it as a derogatory term. It's a uh, football team, okay. it's not meant to be derogatory. Uh, first of all, they said they don't make you change the name of Germans and French, anything like that, you don't have to, but if it's a, you know, for instance, uh, you know that they're demanding the Cleveland Browns change their names because black people uh, Rufus is the color brown, and they don't. They think it's a racial insult. Oh my gosh! Yeah, and then Cincinnati Reds and uh, and uh, Boston Red Sox because it's a uh, you know all of them have meanings that re in, uh, upset somebody. Oh God! And Gold Rush is poisonous legacy. Mark Harry will linger for ten thousand years. You know what? What Herbie Daddy said: Mercury point. Mercury lasts forever. It doesn't disintegrate. That's the problem they have with Genghis Khan's tomb. Genghis Khan's tomb, they think they might have a real good idea of where it's at because thousands and thousands of years ago he had mercury rivers created to sell on and the mercury is still there. Mercury doesn't evaporate, it's there forever. Mm -hmm. So. And the UK police cast down 3D printed gun parts. I know, it's all, they, they've got, I mean, a, a 3D printer is nothing more than an old fashioned injection molder it just makes one layer at a time. And here comes the problem, is that the things blow up if you use them. <laughs> so why would you want to use a gun that blows up on the first shot? It kills the person shooting it. <laughs> Sounds kind of stupid to You me. can't make a plastic gun. You have to make a plastic, you can make a gun made out of, um, of uh, carbonized stuff, but you can't make a plastic gun. You can't use carbonized products in a, uh, in a 3D printer. So. And canceled U.S. health plans are an important part of reform. Uh, yeah, because of, but since uh, oh Jim Tardy, we've met him, Lincoln oh, Ford yeah. Motor Company. I think we got a they got a we're going to his thing next week. He so. used to be next door to me. Yeah, but um, the, the way it works is um, what, what was that question again? Since I saw somebody we knew on television. Oh, can't U.S. unearth a new drug super tunnel under the Mexican border? Yeah. It, 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 they're always unearthing the tunnels. Okay, here, here's what Herbie Daddy says. Why would you do that since Obama doesn't even police the borders anymore? Because there, there's no more, since he became president, coming across the border has, has basically uh, tailed off. Well, no, it's, it's got to do with the fact nobody was making money. If you're not making money, you're not going to get hired. But now, since he's going to give everybody that is here amnesty, they're flooding across the borders. And you know they're all carrying drugs with them because that's where the name Mule comes from. The guys coming across the border carry tons of drugs with them. They're very expensive stuff. And canceled U.S. health plans are an important part of reform. And uh, <laughs> Obama's never going to allow it. According to Obama, the plans that were canceled were substandard. They do not meet the White House's uh, thing. They said that basically, mm -hmm. the, as, the, as one of the Democrats said this morning to the people again, or not, he said, in other words, you can only keep your plan if the president himself approves of the plan, and the president doesn't even approve of Cadillac plans. Mm -hmm. so. An agency recommends a national park for Cesar Chavez. Uh, that's never going to happen. Because national park for Cesar Chavez? No, first of all, he was a socialist, and he caused... Okay, he set back the farm labor movement by a zillion years, because they, what it did was, you know, they hire less people now than they did before for less money. <laughs> they went mechanized because of Chavez and his continued harassment of, okay, um, my family has basically been truck farmers forever, and we'd get people protesting around our spar two and a half to five acre place, and then what my father would do is he'd then go get his uniform on, call up some of his friends in the motorcycle division, and they'd come over in a, in a, in a freelance and go uh, right towards the people, including Cesar Chavez, who threw a fit, and he said, you can't do this. And then they say, who's going to tell on us? Mm -hmm. you know, so that's how the police work in those days. And storm spooked some U.S. cities into postponing Halloween fun. Yeah, it was a disaster. I mean, uh, we had big, well, problem is, Halloween notoriously got crappy weather. I mean, I haven't seen many Halloweens ever where the weather was really good. I mean, I, I mean I've been out in the middle of snowstorms to take 
the kid the Halloweening, so it's part of the fun thing. Especially that's when you wear the white outfits. And a Monty bubble is for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, if you know that a person is going to double down on everything they do, why in the world do you consider it to be, you know, strange when they do exactly like they do every single time? No, otherwise you have to wait for uh, you to do it. Yeah, of course. Yeah.